when a skinny German kid weaved and glided through the entire mines to score his first Bundesliga goal after a 50-meter solo run, he had Dortmund regretting their choice. But that was just the beginning of the story of the boy who fell in love with the yellow wall. Marco Reus would go on to paint the Bundesliga in his image for many more years. But just how good was Marco Reus in his prime? Stay tuned to find out, but before that, please like and subscribe to help us on our journey to 100k subscribers. Thank you, now let's get into it. Marco Royce's fairy tale story began with Dortmund, had a slight detour, and then was back there again. But before the German midfielder became a menace in the Bundesliga with Borussia Dortmund, he made his presence felt at Borussia Mönchengladbach. After joining Borussia Mönchengladbach on the 25th of May 2009, he became an instant sensation and immediately became a prolific goal scorer under his then coach Lucien Favre. But as talented as the German midfielder was, he didn't hit his stride until the 2011-2012 season. He began the season in beast mode, scoring solo goals and thunderbolts for fun. He scored 10 goals in his first 13 games, including his first ever Bundesliga hat trick in a 5 0 win against Werder Bremen on the 19th of November. Etchen went through four Werder Bremen players like a hot knife through butter and slotted it past the goalkeeper calmly with a low shot. He was completely in his element, and Borussia Dortmund couldn't rest easy watching their former player wreak havoc on every team in the Bundesliga. He ended the season with 21 goals and 14 assists and 37 appearances, and he was just 23 years old. He made a total of 109 appearances for Munchen Gladbach and scored 41 goals while also contributing 28 assists as an attacking midfielder before he was snatched back by Dortmund. Marco Royce's contract with Borussia Munchen Gladbach was set to expire in 2015, but Dortmund couldn't wait that long and eventually paid his buyout clause of 18 million euros in 2012. On the 4th of January 2012, Royce signed with Dortmund for a transfer fee of 17.1 million euros. But he didn't join the club officially until the 1st of July. He made his league debut with Dortmund on the 24th of August, and it was like he never left. On his first game back, he scored the winner to help Dortmund complete a 2-1 win over Werder Bremen. On the 29th of September, he came face to face with his former team Borussia Mönchengladbach in the Dortmund shirt for the first time, and he reminded them what they were missing. In what ended as a 5 to nil thrashing of Borussia Mönchengladbach, Royce was the star of the show, as he ended the game with a brace against his former team, helping Dortmund to the top of the Bundesliga table after six games. He continued his fine form into the Champions League by scoring the only goal to help Dortmund secure a 1-1 draw away to Manchester City in just his second-ever Champions League appearance. A month later, he scored a spectacular volley to open the scoring for Dortmund in their 2-2 draw with Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu. Fifteen days later, on the 21st of November, he scored Dortmund's first goal in a 4-1 thrashing of Ajax at the Amsterdam Arena which helped Dortmund qualify for the Champions League round of 16 after leaving the group stage as Group D winners. The German midfielder kept impressing throughout the season as he scored his second club hat trick on the 16th of February 2013 in Dortmund's thrashing of Eintracht Frankfurt. He proved to be a man for the big occasions as he constantly turned up for Dortmund in their impressive 2012-2013 Champions League campaign. Dortmund win the game 3-2 and progressed to the semifinals where they defeated Madrid 4-3 on aggregate to reach the final. In what was building up to be a fairy tale return home, Marco Reus was in the form of his life on the road to the Champions League final against Bayern Munich. On the 11th of May, he scored a late brace to help Dortmund draw the game against Wolfsburg after initially going two goals down. With Royce's insane form heading to the final, it seemed like Dortmund was destined to lift the Champions League. And after Marco Royce won an early penalty that was converted by Gundogan, you would believe Dortmund had a chance to somehow win the trophy. But just at the final moments of the game, Bayern somehow found a late goal courtesy of Arjen Robben and nicked the Champions League trophy from Dortmund's grasp. Dortmund's devastating Champions League run did little to undermine Marco Royce's impressive season as he finished with 19 goals and 16 assists in all competitions. If you made it this far into the video, put a Rolls Royce in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Back to the vid.
The following season, Royce picked up right where he left off after getting his revenge against Bayern Munich in the 2013 DFL Super Cup. On the 7th of July 2013, Dortmund faced off against Bayern Munich in the DFL Super Cup, and Marco Royce completely ran the show. A few minutes into the game, he netted the opening goal, and he rounded up the scoring to help Dortmund claim a 4-2 victory over Bayern Munich and lift the trophy. With his impressive form the previous season, Royce had established himself as a key member of the Dortmund team, and as a result, he was promoted to be the team's official penalty taker. That's how you know you're going to have a great season, and as usual, Royce left no stone unturned. A few days later, he scored a brace against Freiburg, and he just never stopped. After a successful group stage campaign in the Champions League, Dortmund was up against Zenit St. Petersburg in the first leg of the UEFA Champions League round of 16. So, on the 25th of February 2014, during the match, Royce delivered once again by scoring a goal to help Dortmund seal a 4-2 victory over Zenit St. Petersburg. A month later, he was back in the Bundesliga, scoring his first hat-trick of the season in Dortmund's 3-2 win over Stuttgart. After helping Dortmund qualify for the Champions League quarterfinals, Dortmund were up against Real Madrid in a repeat of last season's faceoff. On the 8th of April, Roy scored a brace in Dortmund's second leg 2-0 victory against Real Madrid, but couldn't help the German club qualify for the semifinals as Dortmund crashed out 3-2 on aggregate. Dortmund's season ended okay, but Royce was on impeccable form as he finished the season with 23 goals and 18 assists in all competitions. At the kickoff of the 2014-2015 season, it looked and felt like Royce was in for another once more. In the second Bundesliga match of the season, his impressive form continued right up until September 2014, when it all started going wrong. His struggle with fitness started after he was diagnosed with an ankle injury in September. But after returning one month after to score a goal and give an assist in Dortmund's 4-0 Champions League group stage win against Galatasaray, the injury seemed like a minor issue. That is, until Dortmund's away match to Paderborn on the 22nd of November. After scoring to put Dortmund 2-0 up in the game, he was eventually stretchered off in the second half, and this left a Paderborn scoring two goals to end the match in a draw. The injury he suffered during the match ruled him out until January 2015, midway into the season, but he still managed 11 goals and 6 assists in 29 appearances for Dortmund. On the 10th of February, Dortmund offered Royce a contract extension, which he signed, keeping him at the club until 2019. Royce made his debut for the German senior team on the 14th of May 2009, in a friendly match against Malta, and since then, he earned several call-ups to represent the national team during the international break. But his time with the German men's team was mostly marred by injury, and he couldn't make a lasting impression with the squad. Until the 2014 FIFA World Cup qualification campaign where he became an absolute monster. Germany was placed in Group C alongside Sweden, Austria, the Republic of Ireland, Kazakhstan, and the Faroe Islands. Royce somehow found fitness during this period and he established himself as a member of Joachim Lowe's German squad, playing six matches in total. During these six games, Roy scored five goals and gave five assists, to add up to an impressive 10-goal contribution in six games. It looked like Royce finally found fitness, and he was named in Germany's squad for the World Cup Finals until he was forced to withdraw after suffering an ankle injury in the team's warm-up win against Armenia. After returning to Dortmund, he started the new season on a high note by scoring in Dortmund's 5-0 win against Wolfsburger to help Dortmund advance to the Europa League playoff round. In his first Bundesliga match of the season against Borussia Mönchengladbach, he scored and gave an assist in a 4-0 thrashing, and 13 days later, he was on the score sheet once again with a hat-trick against Odds BK in the Europa League. He stayed fit throughout the season and ended the campaign with 23 goals and 8 assists and 43 appearances. It's safe to say Marco Royce in his prime was as deadly as they come, and you can't help but wonder how good he could have been if he didn't get injured so much. With that, we come to an end. Until next time.